is accounting really DIY, no frills, plain content. Now, there are a bunch of ways to maintain your income and expenses. The first way to do it is manually. Now, this was a traditional way of maintaining your uh, transactions. Definitely not recommended. And you can end up making tons of mistakes while entering, making those entries manually on those logs or journals. The next best way to track your income and expenses could be use of applications. Now, if you happen to be in the real estate world, I'm sure you must have heard of uh, applications such as Stella. Now, those applications, what they tell you is, hey, we can help you in voice, but guess what? We can also help you track your income and expenses as well. So you get the picture, right? Now, the next best way to maintain your books or your keeping track of your income and expenses is by use of softwares, which is QuickBooks, Sage, FreshBooks, Wave, so on and so forth. And how do you know which method is best for you to use? So as a small business owner, it largely depends on how your entity is structured. So if you happen to be a small, uh, a small, well, a sole proprietor or a self-employed person or even a contractor where the entity is not separate from the owner itself and you just need a system or a way to track your business income and expenses, in that case, QuickBooks self-employed option and even zero self-employed option is highly recommended. But if you happen to be any other business structure other than a sole proprietorship, it becomes a little more complex. Reason being, you need to track your assets, your liabilities, your owner's equity as well, which means you will need a complete accounting uh, record of your um, transactions. You will also be needing access to reports such as your balance sheet, your profit and loss account, your cash flow statements, your month to date, year to date, so on and so forth. Now, in order to get access to those full, for those financial statements you do need is uh, what you need is a fully blown comprehensive accounting software so is accounting really DIY to answer that question yes well to some extent it is now examples being you can use spreadsheets your handwritten paper ledger options also the self-employed option for QuickBooks and Xero as well now, I just want to spend like 15 seconds on QuickBooks. What QuickBooks tells you is that it's easy to set up. It's going to take you 30 minutes max. But what they don't tell you is the concept of debit and credit, which is the concept of double entry bookkeeping. What they also don't tell you that the rule for each of those um, accounts is different. So if you have a bank account, the rules are different. If you have a loan, the rules are going to be different. If you have any outstanding income or prepaid expenses or any other liability, the rules are going to be different for each of those accounts. So and, and and also what what you do is when you open QuickBooks, they will suggest you a bunch of rules. Now, those rules, trust me, are not correct each time if you happen to choose one of those those rules and those rule and that rule happens to be incorrect one incorrect entry would lead to a bunch of incorrect entries it will trigger a whole chain reaction and would just mess up your books completely uh, the other thing that you m might not be aware of is that in QuickBooks, there is a way to make manual entries as well. So pass manual entries as well, especially at year end when uh, the books are being closed. So what is the best solution for your business? Well, if you're starting off and there are no revenues, you could start off with Excel spreadsheets or Google spreadsheets. And then as your business grows and the revenues start to come in, you could progress to the self-employed options that QuickBooks and Xero offers. And as the business grows even further in terms of complexity of transactions, uh, you have maybe more partners coming to the business, uh, there's more capital that's being injected, um, and the complexity of transaction increases, self-help may no longer be an option. And that is when you need external help from a bookkeeper or an accountant. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you soon in another video.